In this video, I am going to explain four muscles that can be caused for frozen shoulder. Main muscles today are shoulder girdle muscles. Shoulder girdle muscles mean they attach on scapula. These muscles are very, very important. Why scapula? Because when these muscles get tight, movement of scapula is inhibited. When scapula does not move, you can't use shoulder. That's why movement of scapula is very important. That is why muscles around scapula is freaking important for frozen shoulder. Let me explain two muscles in first part. First one is this one. This is pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor. This muscle is deep to pec major. Pectoralis major. What is function of pec minor? That is scapular downward rotation and abduction. Downward rotation and abduction. You don't have to remember exact movements in this video. Just remember these muscles move scapula. Okay, so when pec minor gets tight, movement of scapula is inhibited. That's it. Simple, right? So number one, pectoralis minor. Okay, this muscle, this is on front part. Let me move to next one. Next one is this one, this broad muscle. This is serratus anterior. Serratus anterior. This is on lateral part of rib cage. It attaches on rib cage and scapula. That does upward rotation. Upward rotation and abduction. By the way, abduction of scapula, not abduction of shoulder. Okay, this is very important. Basically, today's muscles move scapula. Okay, serratus anterior, upward rotation and abduction. This muscle is very, very deep muscle. This is very close to ribcage. So you can say serratus anterior is core muscle of scapula. Why? Because this is close to the center of body. This is very important for scapular movement and stabilization. This is number two. Number one, pec minor. Number two, serratus anterior. Let me move on to next muscle. Next muscle is on posterior part. This is very big, very wide muscle. This is trapezius. Trapezius. When this muscle gets tight, it also inhibits movement of scapula. Main function is adduction. Of course, this muscle can do many other things, but this is very broad muscle. If I want to be very specific, it takes whole video. Okay, it takes whole one another lecture. Okay, trapezius, basically adduction of scapula especially when upper fiber and middle fiber get tight that can create frozen shoulder this is very very common it makes stiffness around this area that can lead to frozen shoulder this is freaking common okay trapezius adduction now let me move to next one. Next one is this one. This is last one. This is levator scapula. Levator scapula. This muscle is deep to trapezius. Imagine there's trapezius, this area. Levator scapula is deep to trapezius. So when this muscle gets tight, that can lead to stiffness around here so this muscle 
also can be called for frozen shoulder. What is function of levator scapula? Levator scapula. So function is elevation. Elevation of scapula. So when this muscle gets tight, scapula is fixed at elevated position. Now that can lead to frozen shoulder. In this video, I explained four muscles that can be caused for frozen shoulder. These muscles attach on scapula. Of course, other muscles are also important, such as deltoid right here, or rotator cuff, pec major. The other muscles are also important for shoulder tightness, frozen shoulder. However, muscles around scapula is also important. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.